Hey, I'm Azus, and this video is going to look at why the prices on a number of key Operation Shadow web skins are kind of going berserk, and what this means once the operation is wrapped up. Sponsored by Skinbay, the easy to use cash out site, guarded by a fish wearing the remains of OP skins once Valve was through with them. Now, when Operation Shattered Web was released, there was a little bit of ambivalence about some of the high end skins. Like, the, the gun gear got a pretty warm reception, but when you move on to stuff like the Wild Lotus, the reception definitely got a bit more mixed. And at first, the prices on some of these skins seemed surprisingly low. but Nine weeks on in the operation, uh, that's definitely not the case. In fact, some of these skins are really starting to exit the Steam market because they're too expensive to sell there. Now, we're specifically interested in these six skins. These are the top skins in the operation collections, and they're where all the action is happening. Now, I could focus on the AWP gun gear because it's the best example, but I've already done a whole video on it. So I, I thought we'd look at the Wild Lotus instead. Now, uh, Lotuses. They always seem to come at a great cost in video games. The one in Sekiro, for example, requires you to fight an ape that farts on you and then pummels you of its shit. Although at least it's only a one stage fight. I mean, uh, imagine if it got back up afterwards, you know, grabbed its head in one hand and the sword in the other and charged at you. That'd be horrifying. I'm glad that doesn't happen. But anyway, CSGO's Lotus it is rather costly as well, but in a monetary way, its price has been going up and up and up. So much so that the factory new skin isn't even available on the Steam market anymore. They've just gotten too expensive. And similarly, the prices of the prints and the gun gear have both been going up as well. And the reason for this is fairly interesting. And it's a symptom of how CSGO's player base has changed over the last couple of years. So the last time we had three collections like this added for an operation was for Operation Bloodhound, where we got Gods and Monsters, Rising Sun, and Chop Chop collection skins added. Now, there was a different drop system used back then. Basically, you got one random drop for the operation collections each week when you maxed out your XP bar. And when I initially saw the way the Shattered Web collections are dropped, which is much more structured, you're limited to three drops from each collection over the 16 week period, I thought this meant we'd get less of these skins than in past operations. But I was actually wrong about that. In fact, we're getting slightly more drops from the new collections than we did with Operation Bloodhound. So Bloodhound ran for 18 weeks, so that meant you could get 18 weekly drops. And there were six collections dropping overall, so that meant you get an average of three from each collection. With Shattered Web, you're getting three skins from each of the collections over 16 weeks. And since this operation will probably be extended, it's possible we'll get even more. Plus there's extra drops from people buying stars. So that actually means there's more of these things available than there was from the Gods and Monsters, Chop Shop or Rising Sun collections when those things first came out. But on the flip side, the Shattered Web collections are actually in many respects currently more expensive than the Bloodhound collections ever were when they were first released. The Mjolnirs, for example, are more expensive than Poseidons ever were during Operation Bloodhound. The Wild Lilies are more expensive than AK Hydroponics uh, and Gun Gears are more expensive than Medusas were at the time, although uh, that one is harder to get exact numbers for because Medusas were being sold off platform, mostly on OP skins back then, and if you don't know what happened to OP skins, well, they got on Vow's bad side. And the price trends look a bit different too. If you compare the Wild Lily and the Hydroponic, you can see the Lily has gone up quite a bit. It's started to level out now, but it's gone up quite a lot. Well, the Hydroponic has largely flatlined for most of the operation, and that doesn't really make sense either. As, as more of these skins get dropped, you'd expect prices to go down, but the Shattered Web skins aren't doing that. They're doing the opposite, which is not what should be happening. So clearly, someone is coming in and buying these things faster than they can drop. Now, if we look at some of the middling skins in these collections, they're nothing special, there's nothing mind-blowing about them. No one is going to be buying these things because they're unique or special or anything like that. It doesn't make sense that this is where all the demand is. But on the other hand, if we look at some of the really expensive stuff at the top of the collections, well, it's actually pretty unique. Uh, the Wild Lotus, the Wild Dilly, the Gun Gear, the Mjolnir, the Prince, and the Sinquia, uh, these skins by their very nature, are, are kind of special. They're always going to be very rare and valuable and really stand out. And 
I'm suspicious that it's these skins people are after, and I've got my suspicions about who's doing it. So we're gonna do a little science experiment. We're gonna look for the owners of the AWP gun gear. So I'll just search for the, the gun gear. Uh, we're just gonna bring this up, and we're gonna select, you know, five or so random owners. Now we don't wanna do the stuff up the top because that's gonna be fought over by collectors. I'm not sure if that's a representative sample. So we'll just scroll down a bit, get some random skins. I will go for this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now, uh, this first guy, okay, so he's, he's, I think, very clearly Chinese. Yep. Uh, this guy, where's he from? Ah, China. Okay, um, Ireland then. He, okay, no, he's from China as well. Uh, what about this bloke? Okay, no, he's from the United States, apparently. He's got Mandarin symbols. Okay, we've got a little bit, oh, Monte, Monte Cristo. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> and finally, oh, okay, he's from Vancouver. So, these skins, they're either owned by Chinese guys or uh, American guys with Chinese symbols in their names. But it's that Chinese thing that's kind of got my attention because uh, this is just an anecdote. We can't draw any conclusions from it. You can't just pick five random people and come to any you know definitive understanding of what's going on. But the big thing over the last you know year and a bit on the CSGO market, on the CSGO skins market, has been a lot of Chinese coming in and spending vast amounts of money on skins and you know and particularly stickers as well and just forcing prices to spiral upwards again and again and again and you know every time Katowice stickers got to a new high for example you think they couldn't go any higher but then they, they go even higher just because there's so much more demand coming in just endless competition between the big collectors to get the really expensive stuff and to me it seems like that's what we're seeing here. It's not just that there's a lot of Chinese buyers with a lot of money to burn competing for these operation skins. It's also that as they get more expensive, if anything, the demand for these skins gets stronger because there's more status involved in having the skin if it's worth more. There's a lot more bragging rights in the prints if it's worth $2,000 rather than $5,000. And the same goes for the Wild Lotus and the gun gear because if you're trying to show off how much money you have, the skin is actually more useful for doing that if it's more expensive. And I think that's what's happening here. I think people, particularly in the Chinese community, which is really dominating the top end of the market, are bidding each other up higher and higher and higher on these skins. And that's pushing up the prices further and further. And it's pulling up the prices of everything else in these collections in the process. And at this point, two thirds of the drops from this operation have already happened. Now, we'll probably get one more round of drops because the operation will probably be extended, but a really significant chunk of the skins from these collections have already been dropped. So that, you know, by necessity raises the question, what happens to these skins when the operation ends? Now, their prices are almost certainly gonna keep going up, assuming Bao doesn't reintroduce them some other way, but how expensive could they potentially get? Now, my guess is that Whatever happens, they probably won't get any more expensive than the Dragon Law, which are currently selling for about 3,500 US dollars right now in cash. Uh, this thing hasn't been dropping for years and that's the price that it's reached. So I'm assuming these skins won't get any more expensive or at least I'm assuming they won't until they do because like, you wouldn't have thought that it kind of it's a 2014 Reason Hollow could start off 2019 at $2,000 and ended at $10,000, but it did. And when it comes to these skins and where the prices will be in six months, uh, with Chinese buyers in the scene, I don't think anything is out of the question. So uh, I'm definitely expecting these prices to go up, but just how much up? Well, for that, I think we're just gonna have to wait. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Massively appreciated. A huge thank you to Skinbay for sponsoring this video. Skinbay is a cash out site where you can sell your CSGO skins for real cash. Just log in through Steam to start selling. The sales fee is only 5% with skinbay.com in your username and there is a whole bunch of different ways to cash out. If you're looking to buy, on the other hand, well, you can get some sick discounts on skins compared to the Steam market, and there is a bunch of convenient ways to deposit. It's quick, it's easy, it's safe, it's a great place to buy and sell skins. I recommend checking it out. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.